at least be courteous and try to think something new. Oh god, it's music. By the way, I love something interesting. Um, there's a couple of rooms in... What was it? Um, Prime 2 that on Dark Aether... I know we're kind of cutting it a little bit to Prime 2, but um, on Dark Aether, there's a few rooms that actually use the um, the Phase on Mines theme. That one that was just playing. Uh, and, and apparently that's a thing exclusive to the PAL version and the Prime Trilogy release. So I'm playing the Prime Trilogy and I hear that. I'm like, oh, interesting. I didn't know it plays there. And it turns out that was a thing included in the power release and, uh, you know, Prime Trilogy. Slash. Actually, um, let's do a little research into it. And I think they also re-released Prime 1, too, with the Wii, Wii controls on, like, standalone platforms as, like, new play method or whatever it's called. It's not that effect. Roughly, give or take. Um, anyway. What music is playing right now? I, I can't literally hear music right now. And not merely think it's the um, pirate or phase on mines level one area. Bad habit, I know. I don't know. It's, it's because it's so subtle. Oh wow, it's already dead. Huh. Interesting. Oh yeah, this fucking area. Oh my god, you needles! Stop, please. You do not need to be doing this. All right, so um, this is just an alcove, if I remember correctly. It's also weird being able to fully explore this place. I've only been able to fully explore this area like a grand total of three times. This include this run included. So that's interesting. Uh, apparently there's some sequence breaking you do around here that involves like jumping on those rails. Because it kind of looks like a ladder already. Or ladder-esque, I guess you could say. Anyway, power bomb. God, it sucks only having three fucking power bombs. Mm. Alright, so this area. Um, this is like the biggest boot ball track in the game, I believe. Or one of them. There we go. Okay, and this is gonna dump me out somewhere interesting. What the fuck did I just get dropped in on? Life Grove. Actually, if you remember correctly, it was under artifacts. What wants to load? Oh, artifact acquired. Tower. One of these specifically mentions the grove. There it is. One of the talents far corners of the grove of life lies. This is what. This is that grove. And a ram new visor for some reason. I'm not complaining, although completely out of nowhere. This popsicle is melting, and I'm gonna have to drink it now. I am not opposed to this idea. God damn, this thing's falling to pieces. Hang on one sec. I literally just licked melted popsicle off my desk to make sure it didn't stick there, and also because it's delicious. That was we that was interesting. My uh, advisory boot, pretty cool. Anyway, so this is the X-ray advisor. Again, no, um, th no, um, what was it? Actually, what's that noise? Oh, that's just the fountain. Um, again, no, um, map when you have this activated. So that's unfortunate, but not too big of an issue. Oh my God! Wait, does this require? No. But I don't have any power bombs. I had the power bomb, but I don't have any power bombs. Please give me one. Okay, thank you. Thank Christ. <laughs> I was worried. I was like, ah, oh, this is an issue. Because this jackass game will give me three. And getting power bombs from enemies is so hard, too. So I just blew up the entire wall section for some reason. I don't know. Alright, so there is a couple things to do in here. One of which, of course, is the artifact, and there will be an ambush! Surprise, surprise. Oh, wow, you can see the fish in the water. That's really cool. Anyway. Can't really see the fish now, though. Hmm. So, um, there's a thing to do around here. It involves, like, shopping. Ah, there it is. Glad I was able to see that. <laughs> also glad I was watching that playthrough again, so I was able to immediately remember that was there. Instead of walking around like a dipshit. Alright. Yep. Is everything has to be hidden behind the fucking waterfall. Or in this case, underneath it. And artifact. And the space parts are still like, hey, we should infuse uh, artifacts with phase on because that might do things. Which is fucking dumb because that's the exact antithesis of what the artifacts are. 
They're meant to repress phase on or yeah, they're meant to suppress phase on not like augment with it. <laughs> what the hell? Also, guess what? Oh, I guess it's not coming yet. I'm not complaining. <laughs> Far be it for me to complain about a good thing. Hmm. All right. So there would be a bunch of Chozo ghosts spawning by now, but I guess they're falling asleep behind the wheel. Hey, you know what? Those Chozo ghosts can sleep forever for all I care. They will... <laughs> the less I have to deal with fucking Chozo ghosts, the better. I am not complaining about this. Also, I feel like a dipshit now for thinking I had to grapple beam already, but not actually doing so. I don't know. I, I have been playing a lot of Prime 2, and I guess there is... Starting to become some overlap with the grapple beam. Oh, hey, there they are. <laughs> Took him this long to wait the fuck up. All right. But, this is a cool thing. Let me load the volume again. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. Because the x-ray visor will allow you to track them. This sounds really neat. Until you realize the fact that you never had to find them again beyond this point. So, really, this is completely fucking pointless. Like... On a scale of one to what the fuck are you doing? This is pretty bad. Oh hi. Oh yeah, your your armor is also see through too. It's kind of neat. Yeah, again, super missiles are generally your best bet at taking them on. I don't think I have to explain it too much, uh, because well, yeah, they're um, immune to everything else but your power beam and the stuff that comes with it. And luckily, super missiles are included there. Borb. Okay. Um, I don't believe there's anything else around here. I mean, I don't want to be wrong and leave this area and there's actually like a missile expansion here. I w actually do want to say there's a missile expansion around here somewhere. But I don't have all the time in the world to do that, unfortunately. There will be plenty of time for backtracking later on after the after the phase mines are done. So that will be a later thing. Cool. Also, kaboom. Please have power bombs. Nope. Uh. Oh, I do have a power bomb. Cool. I guess one of the ghosts uh, dropped one. I. I will take that, and I will accept it with a gracious smile. Cool. Uh, actually, it's funny I say this, but um, there will actually be a lot of expansions for the power bombs coming up. Like, you need a power bomb to get the expansions for power bombs. Go figure. Anyway, uh, oh, that, that tracked a little bit, hmm. So, um, I did mention there's an invisible platform, platform here before. I have poison gas, apparently. Hmm. Get up here. Yeah, there is an invisible platform here, and luckily, the way I was able to find it is because there is this, there is the water drops on it. That's, like, that was my, my big, um, indicator, personally. So, um, uh, x-ray visor acquired. However, we are not going back into the phase on mines just yet. There is a thing I want to go obtain. Actually, a few things I want to go do in the Magmore Caverns. So, um, let me just see if this is the best way there. So it's ruined south. Actually, yeah, it's a good way. So I'll be back in like, um, I don't know, five minutes? Five minutes. Sounds pretty good. Hey, and our power bomb. Cool. All right, see you then. Oh, yeah. Nice room. Oh, shit. I completely forgot about something. Uh, this room. I don't matter what's in this room, but I know there's a thing you can get, and it's somewhere up there. So, uh, there's these cracks in the floor over here. Power bomb this shit. Should make it blow up. Yes, it does. Alright, also gotta contend with these things now. That's be plenty of fun. And let's drop the volume a little bit so I'm playing again. Come on, remote. There we go. Okay, so, um, I know what I'm trying to do, but I do not remember the results, so, I don't know. Let's see what we got. Oh, god damn it. You know, right when I was talking there, I had a funny feeling something like that would happen. No, fuck, it happened again. Alright, look at this perfectly. Cool. Alright, so this is a rather intricate um, spider ball track. It's not that bad, but it requires some precision. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. Huh, I guess the uh, more ball bombs can take him out. Oh, fuck. Mmm, I'm not liking this. Also, you cannot deactivate more ball here. Fuck. No bueno. Alright, come around. Nope. I'm... Alright, why are we at the bottom? Okay. 
I'm starting to get concerned. Yeah, go, 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 go. There we go. Whew. All right. All right. And drop. And not get stuck. You gotta be fucking shitting me. No. Ugh. Come on, move it, Grandpa. All right. Let's try this again. Without falling right on top of it. Go. Whew. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. I did not think I would get stuck on the back of that. That was insane. All right. Look for that drop shot. Oh, God. A drop shot was barely visible. Like, you could see it behind there, but I have so little faith in that. Uh, there's a curve here. There's a curve here. Why is there a curve here? Ugh, okay. Not gonna lie. Trying to get a little white, little white knuckled here. Okay, there's one. No. Come on. Come on, Dick Weasel. Okay, one, two, three. Boom. Okay. At least if there's anything, I can still have faith in it's my hand-eye coordination. All of that for godforsaken missile expansion. Choke on five fat ones, you cunt. <sighs> well, that was unfortunate. So, um, let's just get back into the groove of things, shall we? So, uh, oh yeah, so the reason I'm here, as opposed to being back at, um, going around to Magma Caverns, like I said I would, there is a thing, or a certain specific... Grapple beam door section. I grapple beam door, grapple beam section. I missed that was in a fiery area. Uh, I completely forgot about it actually. Oops, but I do know that is where your first power bomb extension comes from. Actually, there's another thing over there. I need to go grab right, right at the front entrance. Maybe I should have taken the other way around from the caves. I don't know. Hmm. Second thoughts going all the way around right now. I do not like second guessing myself and shit like this. Cause that's when things become inefficient and slow. Oh boy. Okay. Go to here. Got on the bomb platform. Get in there. Come on. Dodge the spooky fuckers. <laughs> I'm not gonna call them chosen ghosts. I'm just call, gonna call them spooky fuckers from now on. Okay, so that's taken care of. No more spooky fuckers for this part. I hope. Yep, nope. No more spooky fuckers. Alright, um, was that door? Yes, it is that door I need to go through. Okay. Hmm. Does room strike, strike anyone else is odd? Oh, maybe it's just me. Hmm. Oh, wait. That's a beautiful sunset. Sunrise. Sun something. Alright, uh... This room isn't that complicated. There's not like a hidden puzzle or anything. Wait, what are you, what are you made of? Wait, wait, wait. I saw it. I guess I didn't see anything. Never mind. So yeah, grab a beam. You don't. You do not even need to care about the lava. Lava. It's not that bad. Although if you do get stuck down there, that will be unfortunate. So I don't know. Take advantage of the same room, I guess. I don't know. That's a wave beam door. Wait, I thought I needed a power bomb. Oh, oh, this requires a power bomb. This one, yes. Boom. Not now. Oh, shit. Powerbomb expansion. That's one of the last scans I need. Actually, that is the last Chojo lore scan. What are you... This must be interesting. The power of our temple has been enough to halt the spread of the poison on Talon 4, but that which remains thrives and grows more concentrated, gnawing on itself in the dark passages beneath the planet's surface. Where it can ever be truly destroyed is not for our eyes to see. We, but there is something else. We Chojo are drifting, tumbling through space and time on a great poison... As the great poison eats away at our sanity, we wake up in dreams. I've had it happen before too, it's weird. As as a veil of lunacy descends, as past and future blend and shuffle, one image appears and flickers throughout the landscape, wraith like. It is a hatchling, the newborn, walking that's that's us by the way. The new, walking the path of corruption, a lone figure shining in the toxic shadows. She comes dressed for war, and her wrath is is terrible. That's a good thing, right? Do our eyes look backwards seeing the hatchling as she once was? Or does she approach even now, arriving into the race's last hour? A savior caught the machines cracked long ago by chosen hands. Poisonous claws drift across our vision. Cryptic! Unusual activity in Magmar Cavern. Yes, I know, I'm on my way there soon. But I have a lot of things to get first. Like, a lot, lot of things. As in anything else I could potentially miss in this godforsaken area. I should know, Joseph Ruins is fine. 
I, I just don't... Wow, it has been a long time since I played this game because I did not remember that. I can see why I would not want to. Because there's more fucking Chozo ghosts. Who would have thought? Well, at least nothing else. I can see their attack patterns very clearly. And literally the only thing I had to worry about is the cooldown of my super missiles. So, so two super missiles is enough to take care of one of them. Is that it? That was a more. I'm disappointed, game. I thought you'd try more bullshit on me. I guess not. Hmm. So it has to be something. Hello. <laughs> that is something that would be worthwhile, huh? Okay. So the thing else, I know there's a good chance I'll be getting all the. Uh, what was it? All the uh, energy tanks. So I don't worry about that too much. If this playthrough can't be about speed running it. Uh, sequence breaking or getting all of the scans or all the items. I can at least, at the very least, get all of the energy tanks. Did you want me to do that? What, is, what, is it want, what did that want me to do? They want me to do something, but I don't, know what it, I don't know what it want me to do. Okay, so I activated that. Is that my way out? Um, yeah, that's a very distinct possibility. Okay. Activate that. Activates a platform? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, I'm not complaining, but it's odd. Maybe uh, hustle it in there. Oh. Just breaking out all the fucking spiral ball tracks right now. Damn. Damn, son. Okay. And energy tank. Very close to getting all of them. I, I know where all the artifacts are offhand, but I don't remember where all the energy tanks are offhand. In fact, I'm kind of just winging it right now and just like laying my explorer to sidekick in, so that's why I'm kind of, kind of getting away with murder, but not really. Eh, it's weird. Anyway, so oh, ow! So glass is not instant death. God, it's it always upsets me a little bit when in Nintendo games getting crushed is an instant death. That's I don't know. It just seems like it's such a prehistoric. Uh, design concept, doesn't it? Um, just like falling damage. I mean, falling damage I can kind of understand, but shit like pushback and instant death spikes. I don't know, that just seems like a really archaic design choice. Oh, especially um, instant death spikes, um, pushback. There's one more I was just going to mention. Oh yeah, not controlling your jumps midair. That's like a really archaic design choice. I do not agree with in the slightest. Now, I, I don't know where I was going with that sermon per se, but it was something. So, eh. Anyway. So, do I have all of the Chozo lore? I should. Yes, I do. Fuck yeah. 